So in this video we'll talk about second order tenses in a little more detail. So in the previous video we learned that zeroth order tenses are scalars and they just have one element. First order tenses are vectors and they have n elements in n-dimensional space. Now second order tensors is what we typically just refer to as a tensor have n by n elements in n-dimensional space. So in 3D a second order tensor has nine elements. In 2D, a second order tensor has four elements. And I'll illustrate this with the stress tensor. The stress tensor is T in your standard notation with a double underline or Tij in index notation where I and J determine the directions of the tensor element. So this is index notation and I'll talk about index notation in more detail in the next video. But for now let's consider one element, a 2D element in your world, and we're acting, we're either compressing or stretching it. So in 2D we have two basis vectors E1 acting in defining um, the horizontal and E2 the vertical basis vector. Now you can imagine that you have a force acting on a surface. So let's consider this surface first here, the top surface, and you could have a force acting in two directions, either normal to the surface or tangential to the surface. So there are two directions that we consider here. The first one is the orientation of the surface itself, and that is always defined by the direction of the normal. So the normal to the surface is n, and it is in the same direction as e2. Now, the second direction that we're interested in is the direction that our force acts, so the stress acts either in the direction of E1 or in the direction of E2. Now the stress tensor is a mathematical object that defines both the direction of the force acting and the direction of the surface on which the force acts. So in this case the element that describes this vector here is T21 because the first index, the first free index I, denotes the direction of the normal to the surface on which force is acting. So that is direction 2, whereas the second index, j, is the force component direction. So the one that we just saw is t21, i.e. it acts on the surface with a normal in direction 2, and it acts in direction 1, whereas this tensor element here acts in direction 2 on the same surface that has the normal in direction 2. So T2, 2. Now if we look at the surface down here with the normal in direction E1, then we again have two elements that are defined here for our stress tensor. The first one being T 
acting on the surface with normal 1 in direction 1, T11 and T12. Now, the stresses that act along the normal of the surface, T11 and T22, are referred to as normal stresses. Whereas the stresses that act along the surface that they're acting on, T21 and T12, are called shear stresses. And so in 2D, you have four stress components. You have normal stresses in both basis units and shear stresses in both basis directions. And so in matrix form, we write this tensor T as T11, T12, T21, T22, with the diagonals being the normal stresses and the off-diagonals being the shear stresses.